Hello and welcome to episode 86, I believe it is, of my Let's Play Minecraft. I've been AFK uh, all night long, like real time night, and uh, just came in to check on see how my kelp farm was doing, and I saw this guy. I think this is one of the new pillagers, one of the new pillager mods. What is going on here? They seem to be up there. Alright, so these guys are supposed to raid villages. I believe. So this could be bad. Dispatch these guys real quick, and then we'll go check on the village, because I have a bad feeling. Oh, they drop emeralds. Ooh, and then apparently some sort of banner thing. Interesting. Got some more guys over here, apparently. Wait, what, what's that? Bad omen. Okay, okay. Alright, any more of these guys just to look? Ooh, yes, yes there are. Whoa. Okay. We'll have the bad omen thing. Does that mean that there are more floating about? It looks like it's about to be night. How long have these guys been floating about here? Alright, let's go check on the village. I'm not seeing any more of those guys. Actually, I'm not seeing any mobs. I thought they were just... Having their spawn denied by the uh, deck lanterns over there, but uh, no, I'm not seeing any mobs at all. That is interesting. Okay, the wings are working. Any pillagers up there? Oh, but I do see pillagers here. I wonder why that hole is there. I don't think I left that hole there. Guess you never know. Alright, so, um... Okay. Alright, everybody here alright? Yeah, looks like it. Two mobs remaining according to that. Well, everything here seems to be fine, so that's all right. Where might these uh, mobs have gone? Ah, oh, there's a freshly harvested iron golem. Oh, I see him. Oh! Is that hostile to me? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to dispatch it then. I'm missing it. Okay, I got it.
What did I just pick up? Saddle. Okay. Apparently those guys drop saddles. There's one mob remaining, but I'm seeing multiple. Are we dealing with, like, multiple raids here? Could very well be. Well, the uh, ill omen thing is gone, so perhaps they're gone now. Eh. Oh. Um, perhaps not? Wait. Ah, the witch is getting into the action. I just realized, I think I have, like, hostile mob sounds off. Yeah, hostile creatures are off. Well, I have no idea where that one got off to. Oh, there you are. And, uh, you also appear to be there. As you can see, I, I finished the shell on that thing. Glowstone dust, oh, that probably was from the witch. Getting a lot of emeralds, though, and saddles. And these banners. I, I probably should have actually just used a, a uh, ender pearl. Banner pops up. <laughs> Alright, well that's them dealt with. Well, they must not respect light levels when spawning in. Or I have spots that are dark in here. One of the two. So while this uh, raid goes on, it does actually seem that all other spawns are repressed, which is interesting. Now I wonder if this is just kind of a random event that just happens every now and then, or if it's triggered because I have a uh, uh, a village nearby. And I think the witch might be hitting them with like a regeneration effect or something. Bad witch. Jeez, oh, how many more of these guys have I got to go through? is the answer. Oh, you look different. Probably deal with you. Nope, 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 nope. Heal up, heal up. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die there for a minute. I thought I was gonna die. Stupid witch. Stupid witch got me. Alright. Can I get a regen effect over here? Oh, come on, you guys. I'm trying to pick up dropped stuff. What if he drops there? Oh, what the? A totem of undying. Oh, okay. I didn't think that would just drop. But apparently it will. I'm gonna shove stuff. Here. So there might be a way to farm those things now. That's cool. Yeah, those are normal mobs there. That's a squid. Yeah, so I think the invasion might be over. Cool. Cool, cool. 
went through a lot of guys. But uh, I think we finally finished it. Alright, now to check on my uh, help farm thing. Alright, so after leaving it all night, we got two and a half stacks. Alright. Yeah. So, um, low goings there. Low goings. Alright, so this is a nifty little bug that keeps cropping up with this snapshot. Okay, you can see the ice there. Because chunks aren't quite fully loaded in, you get this kind of interesting view here. Oh, you can see some coal down there. That is interesting. So it doesn't seem to go down very far. That is also interesting. But that actually looks kind of cool, in a way. Alright. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bad things are happening. I regret, I regret. Okay, there we go. Ender pearls, man, they're real lifesavers, so I'm also kind of running low. Anyway, what I actually wanted to show... Right, here's the drops. Getting a lot of these banners here. And uh, I've had, like, a couple more attacks of the uh, uh, villagers. Anyway, that isn't quite what I wanted to build out. Uh, there we are. Okay, so... What I've kind of been wondering is... I need tracks. I think I need tracks for this. Tracks, tracks, tracks. Uh, we have point cards. Uh... No? Nope. Well, that did actually have some tracks in it, but, uh... Let's see if we can find some actual, like, tracks. Some tracky tracks. Uh, nope. Alright, uh, uh... Would you happen to have? Nope. Probably you then... Yes, you have tracks. Okay. Uh, grab these tracks, I'll grab these ones. I'll grab this. Just... Go around something. Okay, um... You know, we got this nice clear spot here. We'll use this. Alright, so... If I... Yeah. Funk. Pop that down there. Okay. 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 So... See if we can make this work. Apparently don't have a... Uh, don't really? Okay. I, I, I thought I had two of them on me, but apparently I do not. Might have shoved them in shulker boxes. Okay. Okay, so this does not seem to hurt that. Uh, you'll work. All right. Oop. Nope, that was correct. Okay, so if that doesn't work, then this definitely won't work. Yeah, alright. What I was kind of thinking was that perhaps I could use uh, these things to uh, break apart uh, mine carts. And then, actually, wait a minute. That's right. That's right. I just remembered. I just remembered. So, with the latest snapshot, another item was recently added that might be of use. Uh, let me see here. I need charcoal, I believe, to have actual coal things. Uh, okay, well... Hmm. You know, I'll just I'll just cook one, whatever. Fine. Uh charcoal. Oh, 
Oh, right, I left my logs over here. Okay. Good products. Logs. Yeah. Alright, alright. Actually, I might have some just sitting in a chest here somewhere. That thing's still not active. That's eh, not too surprising. Um, probably harvest some kelps from somewhere else to activate that. Alright, well, whatever. I shall... Uh, do this. Charcoal. Um, camp. Alright, what does it make to sticks? Okay, I need sticks. Do I have sticks somewhere? Seems like I do have some sticks already made somewhere. I do. There we go. Alright, so... Pump. Sweet, alright. So now we have a campfire. Campfires are pretty neat. Um go back down here since this is a pretty good testing ground. Despite the fact this has a completely different purpose, still is a pretty good testing ground. Uh, oop. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Wow. Ow. Okay. So. Oh man, look at that. That that that's kind of perfect. I think that minecart is perfectly flush with the other blocks. Maybe maybe just up a little bit. It's hard to tell. Yeah, that is that is pretty close to flush. Okay. And it doesn't destroy the items, that's that's good. Okay, it looks like the proper tool for that is the thing there. Wait. Um Where did it go? Did, did it turn into charcoal in my head? I'm confused now. What happened to it? I could have swore I picked it up. Uh, camp. I'll make another one here. Toss all this crap in here. Because that's a convenient spot to toss things. Okay. Fascinating! Okay! So when you break a campfire, it becomes two charcoal blocks. All right, that's that's interesting. Obviously, that's not ideal. If I had uh, uh, what was it, uh, silk touch on this axe, it would probably drop the actual campfire itself. Uh, you know, what? let's test that out. Uh, camp. I believe I could. I believe silk touch probably works on that. Yeah, so. Using my pickaxe, I can pick it back up. Alright, that is fascinating. Okay. Alright. 
I, I don't know why I wanted to come look at the end there, but I did. And now I've seen the end. Um... Hmm, I don't really have any other plans. What I was originally hoping for was some way to easily break a minecart with chests without dropping the items. Uh, could have been neat, but uh, apparently that's not a thing that's going to happen. Yeah. Alright, so I am over here at the sand quarry. And uh, I'm going to be updating the item elevator here. But, I figured I'd do that on camera because, well, time we had a serious discussion about the future of my channel here. Now, this is kind of something I've been dreading for some time. I knew, I knew it would happen eventually. Of course, there's always, there's always that. That I was, that I screwed up there for a minute. But. Oh, okay. Guess I don't need to do that then. So, future of this channel. Future of this channel and of my Minecraft. Let's play and well, I I, I don't know. Which which is stick with the future of this channel? Oh, mossy cobblestone has changed. Everything's changed, including my channel. Which is what I keep not talking about. Alright, so... Uh... I, I, I spoke of my cats a while ago and how... I had, uh, one... Well, I had... Well, how... Cats died. I've already been over that, so I'm not gonna repeat the thing. Anyway... So, that's kind of just been... An event in a single event in long line of many events that have permanently affected my life. Um, I'm I'm not gonna go through the list since uh, I've somewhat actually already done that to an extent, and you guys probably don't want to hear about all that. Well, I I say that, but. I, I say that as if I've actually got people who are actually going to be watching this. Anyway, point is, is uh, sometime mid-February of 2019, I'm throwing the year in there just, you know, for shits and gales, I guess, some, in case somebody comes along the lines and comes along and watches this at some later time, they won't be confused. Not that I really think that that's an issue. But, mid-February, I am going to be moving. I suppose in a way this is a good thing, but it doesn't feel like a good thing, you know? It's, it's hard to describe, really. Um, I'm not looking forward to this at all. For a variety of reasons. Um, so, I have glass here. Oh no. So, for the last, uh, well, no, I, I shouldn't start off with that. Uh, so I've lived pretty much in this city that I'm currently in pretty much my whole life. Um, it, it's an alright city. I mean, we've got some issues here and there. Of course, every city's got its issues. And, uh, I, I, I to an extent, enjoy this city. This is, this is an alright city. I, I, I like it here. I, I wish it snowed a bit more. I, I wish it was a bit colder. But uh, uh, other than that, it, it's a pretty good city. What was I looking for? 
Right, right, I was looking for sand, or for soul sand. Surely I've got some somewhere around here. I know I just looked in both those, but... Have any in here? I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, I'm moving. It's kind of a huge event there. I'm moving quite a ways away. Um, so, I've, I've lived in this city my whole life. Um, I'm not looking forward to moving out of it. But uh, further than that, I've uh, I've not even been outside of the state in like the last ten years. So yeah, I'm moving out of the state. So lots of huge changes here. I won't quite go. Mm. You know, I've got these ender pearls. Why aren't I using them? Okay, so. Then I will go ahead and just pop this kind of fence thing down, just kind of block off the thing there. I'll, I'll deal with that some time later on. Uh, yes. So, yeah, moving... Moving out of the state. Moving out of the city, obviously. If I'm moving out of the state, I'm moving out of the city. And I'm, I'm just rambling. Um, yeah. When I move uh, uh, my remaining cats, I'm going to be leaving them with my mother. I will likely never see them again, as they are all old. As they're the same age as the one that died of old age. So, yeah. Apparently I don't have enough here. <sighs> ah, excuse me. Um, yes, so... That's that's gonna be hard losing all of my cats in one fell swoop. Although, something I don't know, man. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, my thoughts are are not really all that organized, and I'm trying to multitask, which. I'm not good at. So, the place that I'm moving to, I, I'm moving there because of work. I need to do that if I want to eat and not be homeless. Um, it's going to be kind of this remote area. Or at least, yeah, it, it's going to be a remote area where I'm going to have little to no internet access, unfortunately. Which is another huge change for me, as I don't think I've been really without internet since the days of dial-up. So I'm, I'm really not looking forward to being internetless, as I'm pretty sure everyone can probably relate to. Um, I'm going to have little to no internet ac access for probably about a month... Uh, about six months to a year, perhaps, probably even more. Um, furthermore, I will also likely just not have access to my computer. It's going to be quite some time before I'm able to ship it over. So even once I have internet access again, I probably won't be able to play on my computer again for quite a long time. As a result, I will not be able to do much for my YouTube channel. 
Uh, I, I realize that uh, I kind of have this history by now of not doing much for my YouTube channel anyway. So for the most part, it probably won't seem like it's changed very much. But one of the main differences is that uh, even though I haven't really done much for my YouTube channel over the past couple of years, um, I, I was here, I was able to quickly respond, I had the ability to respond to people who commented on my videos. Now whether or not I actually did uh, respond to people who commented on my videos is a completely another issue. The point is, is I had the ability to respond and also to read comments, etc. I, I won't have that ability for, let's say, a year. At least a year. I won't have that ability again for probably a year. Probably more, actually, but anyway. So, yeah. This could, this video I'm currently recording could very well be the last video on my channel for quite some time. Now, of course, once I get my computer back and and I have stable internet access, I will likely make some more videos, some more content for my channel. Um, unless, of course, I die or something like that. But what are the odds of that? Uh, yeah. So, I'm not really looking forward to any of this. Wham, damn it. I have no idea what that sound was. Kind of like something breaking. Alright, anyway. So, currently I'm in this state where I'm, I've been packing. Still got some more packing to do. Uh, my stuff is going to go into storage until I'm able to deal with it. Which won't be for some time. Um, yeah. Not really sure what else to talk about. Alright, well, that's that. I slept, so shouldn't have any issues with phantoms. Excuse me. I feel like there's something more that I should say, but I'm not sure what I should say. Um, it kind of feels like uh, the end of an era or a chapter of my life. Or, yeah, huge change. Not happy or looking forward to any of it. But uh, do what you gotta do, I guess. need to change things to continue surviving. So I will change things and survive. That's the plan anyway. Change and survive. There we go. Ah. There. 
item elevator nice and updated. Perfect. And of course, the full pointlessness of what I just did hits me. As it's going to be a long time before I'm really able to use this again. <sighs> so, I, I guess part of how I feel, um, I described it, uh, I'm sure there has been a point where you have, uh, um, where in your life you've had some sort of appointment that you needed to go to. Um, you've probably dreaded the appointment for whatever reason. Possibly you needed to go turn in your homework or something. Who knows? I'm not going to judge. But you have, a, you have an appointment that's coming that you need to leave for. But you don't need to leave for another ten minutes. So you're, you're sitting there wondering what to do. You're, you're all ready to go. You're all ready to go to your appointment, but you have another 10 minutes before you need to leave for it. You don't want to start a game or something like that during that time. Because you know you won't have enough time to finish it. Uh, by the time you get really into your game, or your book or whatever, it'll be time for you to leave. So there's no point in, in uh, uh, starting some sort of activity like that. So what do you do for 10 minutes? For those 10 minutes while you wait. You kind of just sit there and stare at the clock. That That's just what you end up doing. You just end up sitting there, staring at the clock, waiting for the time to come to leave. That's kind of how I feel right now. I I can't really think of anything that I want. Well, no, that's not true. I can think of lots of things that I, can, that I want to do. I want to play Minecraft, possibly play Terraria, Factorio would be fun. But there's a bunch of different things that I would love to do. But I feel like that if I started something, I just would not be able to finish it. And so I'm just kind of antsily staring at the clock here, waiting for the time for me to leave. It's, it's not great. But that, that's, that's partly how I feel right now. Is I, I, I don't want to go to my appointment not looking forward to it, but I don't have enough time to really start on something to take my mind off things. So I'm just sitting here, staring at the clock, ansily. Alright, so I harvested some kelp from my uh, uh, pool, and I had intended to wait to start this thing up for that, but I was going to toss them in, but oh, well, it seems to have kicked off a bit earlier than I intended. Whoops, oh well. So, it's cooking the kelp now, it's, it activated just as I had hoped it would. Let's see if we come back here, nice and active, that and B's good. Alright, and then this thing should just go until it's cooked all that kelp, which I can check on in a little while, and then once it's cooked it all, it will... Turn that off and stop. Oh, hey. It does it currently have three blocks there? Oh, that's unusual. Um. Alright, alright, so what have we got here? Okay, so this is on. Thirteen, okay, so a little while before it turns off then. Alright, well, I guess we're not going to see too much here. The Old Brewery, also known as the Monument to My Failure. Built this thing years ago during the 1.5 snapshots and it worked beautifully up until they changed the way the 
the uh, brewing stands worked. And then this entire thing stopped working. And there wasn't enough space to try to fix it. It's been quite a long time since I've really done anything in here. I mean, I've popped in occasionally to brew some potions manually. But I've never really use this, so I just kind of let it sit here. And, well, as the theme of my life, well, as the theme of things seems to be the closing of a chapter, it, it seems somewhat appropriate that I tear this thing down before I go. So I'm going to tear this all down. I, I'm going to completely recover all the redstone all the materials that went into it. Partly because I'm too lazy to go mine more redstone and I'm running low, and partly because... I don't know. This building kind of meant a lot to me, but... But it never was able to fulfill its purpose. And actually, that's kind of a running theme here. This whole Minecraft world kind of failed to fulfill its purpose. But... I don't know, I'm probably getting a little too emotional and metaphorical and possibly a few other things right now. So, point is, I'm going to tear it up. We're going to rip it out. And I'm largely going to do that off camera. Alright, so I just kind of wanted to show this. Um, this is what the uh, structure looks like without the shell. A lot of redstone went into the construction of this monstrosity. And uh, this is one of the few things that I actually tried to make look nice. I, I even did some pixel art here. Uh, I believe that's supposed to be a health potion and that's supposed to be a regeneration potion. Very nice looking. Too bad it um, didn't work. But man, so so much redstone went into this. So freaking much redstone. Just lots and lots and lots of redstone just went into the construction of this. Just Just wanted to show this off real quick. Lots of redstone went into the making of this thing. And, uh, now it's time to reclaim it all. Alright, so I completely forgot about this. It's... It, it didn't cook as much as I was expecting it to. I thought it would cook three rows at least, but nope. Guess not. Yeah, it looks like we got a couple more in, well, some more in there. Huh. That's slightly disappointing. Oh well. Okay, so it just occurred to me that I could put a comparator here. Hook it up to some sort of inventory like a dropper. And throw a saddle in it to uh, figure out just how much I want to, uh, to keep in here. Now, if I'm correct, that won't trigger until like six stacks are full. So that should give me quite a bit of wiggle room in here. So I've been running around trying to fight find illagers because I keep getting this raid thing popping up. And so I thought I'd check in here and looked in here and dirt is gone. You can see there's supposed to be a dirt block there that things grow on. I, I don't know what happened to it. Um, perhaps an enderman could have stood like here and reached through the wall to grab it. I don't know. I didn't think that could be done. Uh, conveniently, there is a dirt block here, so perhaps we'll just open this up real quick. Make this huge freaking mess. Put that there, and then seal it back up. There we go. Uh-oh. Um... 
All right, all right, all right. So, first things first, throw down the torches. Okay. Redstone torches. Let's see. That goes there. Um. Okay, okay. Need to have the redstone go like this, it looks like. Yes, okay. Okay, all is well. All is well. Except that we don't have our double jump thing. Uh, are there any others like that? Yes. Yes, there are. Interesting. Looks like it's just those two, though. Oop. I wonder what happened to those two, dirt. Oh, that one has melon in it. Oh, and it's not triggered. Okay. There we go. Okay. Minor hiccups in the machinery, but everything looks fine here. Okay, so I discovered that a number of them were actually missing the dirt like that. That's enough sp oh dear it is. So I'm just gonna go through and uh, make sure that there's no space for badness to spawn in and take away my precious precious dirt. And I just realized, uh... That like the people of Waterworld, I am obsessing over dry land here. So I came over to examine my mushroom machines, and they all looked pretty good up until here. Everything from this one's just been taken. That's, um, that's unexpected. I don't know what trim is up in this one. Uh, let's go around. Okay. Right, right, melons. I think this one is the red one, so... There we go. And I'll just give it a bit of dirt. It should repopulate. Thing is, is that this is kind of the same setup as all the others, so I'm not sure what happened there. Any of the others missing? No, it doesn't really look like it. Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, this one's missing dirt. Huh. Alright. Alright, so just those two are missing dirt. And I'll add a layer of protection to prevent that from happening again. I, I, I just finally heard the, vill the illager. I hear him, I hear him. I've been looking for this guy for some time now, for a couple hours now, actually. There he is. Bastard. Oh, and we got the next one. Okay, where where are they? Where are the spawning? Okay, so it just occurred to me that I think dried kelp actually counts as a food item. And one of the new blocks is a smoker that doubles the speed at which it cooks things. So, wanted to try to replace that. See what might happen. Stick that there. Okay, it's going in. Will it cook? 
Oh, it is cooking. Oh, sweet. Nice. Alright. Just keep up here then. Figure out where my health want. Eh, how well. Good enough. So, cool. I believe this is also more efficient, so blade... Uh, food items placed in the smoker cook at twice the normal speed. So, uh... Uh, for every one kelp that would get cooked in a normal, uh, furnace, two of them actually get cooked, uh, in the same time. It also doubles, more or less, the number of items that get cooked by the fuel, as, uh, uh the time, the burn time is the same. So instead of cooking twenty or instead of cooking 12 items, it'll cook 24, which is pretty nifty. Yeah. I believe there's also a smelter that does the same thing for ores. And if you're wondering where all this kelp came from, um, I... Oops. I also got some growing on my, uh, in my pool on the roof. And I'm just harvesting that and using that to speed up my production here. Alright, so I wanted to play around with banners a little bit. So I created a banner for the brewery. Um, see how this looks. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Stick it there. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, the design I actually uh, got off uh, the internet from somebody else. Um, they had flames as well, and I tried to get them, but how do I break this? The axe. But apparently, banners can only have six effects on them. In survival, and my glasses are gone again. I'm not sure what caused that. Anyway, so this is the banner. Let's see what it looks like on the map. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even bother trying to make the design. It is just a solid pink color. I used pink as the base because I thought it would give nice little wispy looking things. Um, the banner that I kind of copied this off actually used light blue, so it had a bit more, a uh, bit more of a water vapory look. But I, I, I kind of thought this would be better for more of a magically vapor look thing. And uh, I end up with uh, just solid pink banners on the map. It's like, what, what was the point of me doing this? Even why? Why did I? Why? Why did I even bother putting a design when it's just going to be a solid color? All right. Let's see how this looks. Perfect one. There we go. All right. And right. I moved it over here. There you go. All right. Uh, let's get rid of the hit boxes. All right, so except for the fact that you know, it's just solid pink color, yeah, it looks all right, I guess. Nice and labeled now. Okay, so I just had an idea, and I thought I'd test it on camera. I want to put stairs here. I want to put water on those stairs, and then I want to push the water. Okay, okay, so that does not work then. Um, yeah, alright, do we have slabs handy? Slabs. Any old slab. Do we have any slab handy? I don't think I do. Check this one. Oh, we got splash. Okay, slab. Another bucket of water. Okay, okay. No. <sighs> what I was kind of thinking was I could have three plants here and I could like have stairs or some sort of uh, slab thing where the pistons are so that way when it pushes forward well it does destroy the uh, water source block in front it uh, kind of replenishes it when it pulls back and hide a couple of uh, water source blocks along the side there 
so that it would completely fill back in. So, you know what? Let's kind of bring up an interesting point, actually. You know what? I can do this. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so what happens if I push this slab into the water source block? Still destroys it. Okay. Alright. That's just not going to work then. There, uh, seems to be a minor obstruction, um, in my railway here. I seem to be stuck. Alright, I, I, I was, I was gonna harvest my kelp, but I appear to be, uh, under attack. <laughs> They're just spinning around. That's kind of funny. Alright. Well, I guess I'll deal with these guys. 